Let's try and analyze for you as to what is going wrong with the Congress party under the leadership of Rahul Gandhi. He may not be officially the president of the Congress party, but he is very much involved in the decision making and in strategies. It all begins in 2023, Madhya Pradesh, where it was almost a done deal. It was seen as Kamal Nath going to be the next chief minister, but the Congress loses the state. History repeats in the neighboring state of Chhattisgarh, where Bupesh Bagel, seen as the poster boy of good governance, loses. And what happens is that it becomes worse in 2024 Haryana because the Congress there, completely ridden by factionalism, faces a resounding defeat at the hands of the BJP, which was not even given a chance in the state of Haryana. And now you have the state of Maharashtra as well. So multiple factors at play, ladies and gentlemen. What is becoming evident is that the Congress party has become over, clearly overconfident. Uh, you know, it was overconfidence that brought, him, brought them down in, 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 in uh, Madhya Pradesh. It was the same sentiment that they were at striking distance from the power in Chhattisgarh. That was the reason for the downfall of the party. Same sentiment that all the you know, factionalism led to the downfall of the party in Haryana, where they had almost decided to you know, have negotiations for the potential cabinet formation. What is becoming again evident is that the Congress party is actually bringing down its allies. Let me give you one example of Jammu and Kashmir, because you know, the Congress often talks about when you discuss Haryana polls, they say, look at the Jammu and Kashmir results as well. What was the strike rate of the Congress party? Just look at this. The national conference strike rate is 75%. The Congress party's strike rate is 15%. What do you say of this? Similarly, even in today's victory in Jharkhand, it is Himan Sorain's victory, not of the Congress party. Their strike rate even there is dismal. And what is becoming clear is again, how Rahul Gandhi, his decision-making is becoming deeply problematic for the grand old party. Let's look at the strike rate in terms of how uh, the number of rallies that Rahul Gandhi addressed. This time around in Maharashtra, uh, on seats that Rahul Gandhi addressed their rallies and whether it converted into or translated into victories, Rahul Gandhi's own strike rate is 14%. Overall, the Congress party's strike rate is 16%. So does it mean that uh, Rahul Gandhi's own supporters certainly feel that he's not able to draw uh, votes. He's not really a vote catcher. He may be getting the eyeballs in terms of the, the noise that he generates, but it doesn't really translate into votes. Let's look at some more factors. Vidarbha, an important region uh, for all the, both the alliance partners, be it the Mahayuti or Mahavikasa Gadi. Here, in, out of 62 seats, on 40 seats, the Congress party was contesting. Remember, of, of 101 seats that the Congress has contested in Maharashtra, 40 comes from this region of Vidarbha. What happens here? You're looking at the numbers. It certainly is worrying if you have a strike rate of 20%. Just look at these numbers, something that must give Congress party a lot of reasons to think. Looking at Marathwada now, an important aspect of this, again, a significant dip in uh, the strike rate. It is at 13%. Overall, Maharashtra strike rate of the Congress party is just about 15%. Now, looking at the caste census narrative, Rahul Gandhi's pet idea, something that brought together the India bloc during the Lok Sabha polls, but something that failed miserably in Maharashtra this time around. When Sharad Pawar, the doyen of Maharashtra politics, ran the campaign in, in 2024 Lok Sabha polls, his strike rate of the entire Mahavikasa Gadi was 62%. Perhaps it would have been in the best interest of Mahavikasa Gadi to ensure that it was Sharad Parwar should have led this campaign as well. But what happens now? When Rahul Gandhi leads the campaign, the strike rate comes down, just takes a dip, a direct dip. Well, these are some statistics to show that there are a lot of issues ailing the Congress party. There are reasons for the decline of the Congress party. There are 
issues of internal divisions, defections, there is lack of decision making. And what is concerning is that this grand old party is the principal opposition party of the country.